four. Welcome to WNL Sports Weekly. I'm your host, Jeremy Franklin. This week we'll speak with riding coach Gordon Rystrup, women's basketball forward Carrie Ann Fannenstein, and women's swimming captain Katie Silvati. But first, a quick look back at the weekend at Washington and Lee Sports. As always, you can find all of the latest WNL Athletics news in detail at generalsports.com. Washington and Lee junior Tamara Morse was the high point rider as the Generals placed fifth at the Sweetbriar Invitational on Sunday. Elsewhere, wrestling split a pair of Centennial Conference matches on Saturday, beating Muhlenberg while falling to Ursinus, and the indoor track and field teams combined for three first-place finishes among Division III competitors at the VMI Relays. Mm. In ODAC basketball, the men's team fell to 11th-ranked Randolph-Macon, and women's hoops lost away games against Roanoke and Bridgewater. With me now is riding coach Gordon Rystrup. Gordon, uh, welcome back to the show. Thanks. Thanks for having me. As we just mentioned, uh, Tamara was the high point rider at uh, Sweetbriar. She's now in first place in the Catchy on Cup standings. Just talk about uh, the season that she's having and what that means to your program. Um, it's, uh, again, we're picking up a little bit where we left off last season. She finished second in the Catchy on, went down to the last class at the last horse show last year. So we're glad she's back in form and back at the top of the, the heap. She's actually tied for first right now. Uh, we just got the updated standings today with Kelly Gerland of Lynchburg College. And um, they're pretty good friends and good rivals, sort of like uh, Tamara was with the Hollins Rider last year. Um, it's always good. She and Allison Lemon, uh, co-captain, um, who is, uh, I think, tied for fourth in the catch on standings right now. You know, with the two of them uh, being team leaders, they both come from uh, backgrounds in barns where it was a team atmosphere, everybody rooting everybody else on, and they set a good tone for the team with their performances, since usually the horse shows start off with that open division. You know, it sort of sets the tone for the rest of the day. Looking back at the fall, as well as the events that you've had here in February, how would you evaluate the WNL season? Um, I think we're off to a good start this winter. Uh, we are still currently in fifth place behind Sweetbriar, Hollins, Bridgewater, and Lynchburg College all which could be considered riding schools um, and we are uh, strong throughout the levels we have some very good strength in the intermediate division as well as some uh, upcoming strength in the novice division um, so it looks good as we uh, head to Bridgewater this weekend uh, we're hoping we'll pick up another high point rider title maybe a reserve as well like we did last year at that horse show and then Hollins and UVA wrap us up the following weekend and hopefully we're trying out a couple new riders and see UVA is a point rider only show so you only get one rider per class and we're going to really try to choose our strongest setup for that last match. What can the generals accomplish at the ODAC championship in April as well as at the uh, upcoming IHA, IHSA uh, <laughs> regionals and zones? Uh, regionals, uh, Molly Roundtree who is a sophomore in the intermediate division could be very close to qualifying out I will try to hold her this year and let her qualify, to the, qualify out into the open division at the beginning of next year. Uh, Tamara and Allison both have a good shot at qualifying, both over fences and um, on the flat for regionals. Um, then for ODAX, uh, we have a pretty solid set of five, six riders that we can choose from, as well as I need to round out our field of horses. Um, we need one or two more just so we have some options. Um, so that we can, you know, that's a very competitive championship. It's anybody's day, and we've always been right up there in the competition, so we're looking to take it home again. Gordon, thanks for being here, and uh, good luck at Bridgewater this weekend. Thanks. Thanks for having me. I'm joined now by Katie Salvati, junior swimming captain from Roselle Park, New Jersey. Katie, welcome to the show. Thanks, Jeremy. It's great to be here. The ODAC Championship is this weekend. It's at the brand new Christiansburg Aquatic Center. Could you tell us a bit about the venue? Um, I personally have not swam in there yet, but I can tell you that some of the men were there last weekend at a Virginia Tech Invitational, and they said that the pool is fantastic, and it's a fast pool. Um, it's a great facility, and I'm really excited to swim in it. Um, they've said that it was similar to UVA and Franklin and Marshall, and we both have swam very well there in the past, so I'm very excited. How would you rate Washington and Lee's performance during the regular season? We have had a very strong year. Um, earlier in the season, we had great dual meets against Franklin Marshall and Rochester. We swam very strong against Mary Washington. 
Um, we beat Gettysburg last month, which is only the second time in school history, so that was fantastic for us. Uh, in regards to the ODAC, uh, we were victorious against Randolph-Macon back in November, and that, for us, it looks very good coming into this weekend. Um, there will be a lot of tight races between the sprint freestylers and the breaststrokers, and especially in some of the relays, but I am so excited to watch those races and get up and cheer for my team. You won the 200 backstroke and the 400 IM at last year's conference meet. Do you feel any pressure to repeat as champion in those events? I don't feel any pressure, but I can say that I'm a little nervous, but I'm so excited to compete. Um, moreover, I'm just so excited to see everybody else get up and race. We've trained so hard this year, and I am just excited to be pushed by my fellow competitors and my fellow teammates. What's the team's mindset as you prepare for this weekend? Um, going into this weekend, we're basically just trying to get uh, mostly mentally prepared. We've done all the physical hard work throughout the entire year. We have accomplished so much great training and right now the team is getting mentally prepared and just fine tuning any starts, turns, finishes, just little, little minor details to help people swim extremely fast. Katie, thanks for joining us. Good luck down in Christiansburg this weekend. Thank you, Jeremy. I'm joined now by Carrie Ann Fannenstein, junior basketball forward from Littleton, Colorado. Carrie Ann, welcome to the show. Thank you, Jeremy. Thanks for having me. Generals beat Randolph Macon 67 to 58 Tuesday night at the Warner Center, the second league loss for Macon. Now, what does that victory mean for Washington League? You know, I think it just really showed what we can do as a team when everyone's together and healthy and feeling good and just kind of gave us an extra step of confidence going into the next game. So. How did you end up coming across the country from Colorado to Virginia to play basketball at WNL? Um, well, after I decided I wanted to play Division Three basketball, um, I went through the Princeton Review book and looked at the list of top 10 liberal arts schools and I uh, sent a letter and a video to each of the coaches. I heard back from Coach King and visited here uh, my senior year of high school. I had Ollie Long as a, as a host and I just fell in love. So. Washington Italy wraps up the regular season with four games away from home. What will the Generals need to do to fare well in this contest? Um, you know, I just think we really need to stay focused and take each game as it comes. You know, in this league it's really tough. Anyone can win on any given night. And um, I think we just need to stay focused on the game at hand and keep pushing through. What kind of expectations do you have for the ODAC tournament? It's tough to have some expectations because so much is out of our control as far as ODAC goes. But um, I think we wished our standings would have been a little higher. Um, we had you know, high expectations for ourselves. But um, I think going in, we feel really confident, um, especially after the Macon win. And, um, we have, you know, we have the best hopes, so. Carrie Ann, thanks for being here. Good luck the rest of the way. No, oh, thank you. The ODAC Women's Swimming Championship runs from Friday through Sunday at the Christiansburg Aquatic Center. Also on Friday, women's basketball visits Guilford, while the men's and women's track and field teams compete at the Lafayette Ryder Winter Games at the New York City Armory. On Saturday, men's basketball plays its final home game of the season, tipping off at 2 o'clock against Bridgewater. Wrestling travels to Newport News to face the Apprentice School, while riding is in action at the Bridgewater Invitational. And the Washington and Lee baseball season starts on Sunday with a doubleheader at Greensboro. For WNL Sports Weekly, I'm Jeremy Franklin. Thanks for watching.